hit last year, we were told to stay home to avoid being exposed. People worked at home, kids went to school at home, and healthcare almost entirely transitioned to telehealth. Well, now many Americans are behind on getting screenings and exams they need to stay healthy. So we're taking a look at that issue this morning with Ms. Medicine founder and CEO, Dr. Lisa Larkin. So good to have you here in the studio, good Lisa. Morning, so preventive care is, is so important for men, women, I mean, even unborn babies. So what have people been skipping out on? Right, so COVID had a huge impact on us all and the transition in healthcare was largely during the surge of the pandemic to telemedicine. So patients were really nervous to come into the office and we really wanted to keep patients home prior to the vaccine to keep them safe. And what we saw was a huge decline in people coming in for their preventative wellness exam, for pap smears, for mammograms, everything really shut down. And even now, so we're you know, 18, 20 months into this, the vaccine is out, people are starting to go back to a normal life, but we know that preventative screens have not caught up. Do and you know why? Is it because of the Delta variant? So or is right, it so the, the second surge with the Delta variant has contributed. And honestly, what I'm seeing in practice is a lot of people are still very anxious, um, even if they're vaccinated, to really re-enter kind of normal society with the dent Delta variant. And so as a result, we're getting close to two years of people missing their screening. And we're just now starting to see the impact of that on kind of cancer diagnoses and things that we're seeing right. diagnosed it a little bit later. I was just going to say, what impact are you seeing? Right. What so is it's, the fallout? It's, it's early. And like we know with COVID, there's many unintended consequences. And so we're just starting to get data now about um, stage of diagnoses of certain cancers. And um, so the message really is, and you know, obviously this is breast cancer awareness or breast cancer prevention month, mm -hmm. but um, you know, it's about all preventative screening strategies. So make sure you're getting your annual wellness exam, your immunizations are up to date, not just COVID vaccine, but flu shots, pap smears, mammograms, colonoscopy. Right. And, and as far as kids are concerned, I mean, we are in charge of our children's health, so we got to get the kids vaccinated. If you're pregnant, you've got to get prenatal right. care. And that, right. that was the huge other area that was impacted, really. So children vaccination rates went down and prenatal care went down. And so, again, we really the message has to be now that we need to get back to preventative care and preventative wellness. And people should be going back to see their doctors and really making it a priority now. Well, we see we see so many people being skeptical about medicine in, in the divisive times that we're living in right now. What, what would be your message about that, about having a good relationship with your providers? Right, which is, you know, preventative health care is not political. Right. And we really should now, I mean, we know that prevention matters and you have to be a self-advocate for yourself. And I would say, really trust trust your health care provider, go back in, get your preventative wellness things taken care of because it's really important. And it's, don't forget your flu vaccine. Right, and, and you mentioned cancer. Uh, it's not just breast cancer, it's colorectal right. cancer. It's, it's prostate cancer. Cervical it's cancer. Can cervical cancer, right. right. And what are some of the other things that could arise if you are not getting your, your right. regular physical exam? Right. So of course we screen for hypertension, mm -hmm. we screen for diabetes, right? You need to get all of your immunizations up to date depending on your age, shingles vaccine, pneumonia vaccine. I mean, there's a whole host. And again, it's hard because it's all age dependent. Right, and um, sex dependent, and gender sex dependent. And gender right. dependent too. Um, but certainly the message is get back in and see your doctor. Don't delay, two years is a long time and, and really prevention matters. Well, you shared a link um, where people can find a healthcare provider yes. if they need one. Do you have any advice on choosing a healthcare provider? Well, again, one of the things that I would say is that with COVID, you know, telemedicine, I don't think for most things is a complete substitute for the in-person care. And that really having a relationship with your physician where you develop trust is really, really important. And I will tell you as a physician, you know, the more you know your patients, the more you know when they're sick or when they're not sick. Yeah. And that that relationship is really, really important. And so again, I would find a, encourage people to find a provider that they feel comfortable with and can develop that relationship Very with. Very good, and don't wait. Don't, don't wait. wait, get it done. And get your flu shot. Yeah, and get your flu shot. Dr. Larkin, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we'll be right back with more in a moment.